Welcome back. Right now in downtown beautiful Vernon, Florida, talking to Brent Gibson. Uh, Gibson recently hired as the recreational director for the city of Vernon. Brent, um, you've fought, faced some challenges with this uh, softball, baseball, and t-ball season coming up. Um, over the years, uh, Vernon, not unlike a lot of other small towns, have experienced highs and lows, peaks and valleys, ups and downs, if you will, in their recreational uh, uh, departments. Uh, obviously, people are the ones who are at the heart of these sports. In the past, there have been issues with coaches, with players. Hey, it's people. We're always going to have drama. Bottom line, though, is that you've been hired to reinvigorate the recreational program. In this case, again, in the spring, we're talking about baseball, softball, and t-ball. Uh, you've had a little bit of issue getting enough teams uh, in our pre-show, talking a little bit about uh, this last weekend. You've succeeded in getting some registrations. Talk about, let's start at the beginning. Let's talk a little bit about the Vernon Recreational Program, some of your thoughts of going forward, and then specifically about how it pertains to baseball, softball, and t-ball. Well, first off, uh, the most important thing is that we, know we need to get all the kids you know, off the couches and stuff like that to get out there and uh, participate. That is the most same thing, is that we need to participate. The kids need to participate. Um, we need to uh, just come together. There's been a lot of differences, a lot of people mad at each other. A lot of things have been, you know, bad for, you know, for the city of Vernon, but I'm trying to make it a positive. Trying to get these kids back out here and play ball so they can be ready and be prepared for the next level. Well, the interesting thing is that you have got some first-class, top-notch sports facilities right here in Vernon. You've got the Sportsplex, you've got Shady Grove uh, Park. You've got perfect opportunities for kids to do exactly as you're talking about, get outside and play. How do you stand right now? We're Obviously, we're trying to get to all of your registration wound up, if it's not already, for baseball, softball, and t-ball. Give us a status report on how that is, number of teams and all that kind of stuff. Uh, right now, we, uh, we ended registrations on Saturday. I'm doing paperwork today to make sure all the teams are rostered and all that information is filled out properly. Um, currently, we uh, we're pretty, got pretty successful. Uh, we have uh, all today is I got to figure out if I'm going to have three or four T-ball teams. Wow. So I got to just work the numbers. Um, we have a two seven eight year old baseball teams, a nine ten baseball, and eleven twelve baseball. Also on the girls side, unlike last year, all we had was one softball team. This year I have three softball teams: seven eight, and then I got nine ten, eleven twelve. All of them made this year. I started a new program this year. It's called Wee Ball. Um, right now I'm at I'm about eighteen to twenty kids, but I got to find coaches. I ain't finding them, you know, dependable people that want to volunteer their time to help out these kids. So that's one thing I'm working on today is to figure out coaches for wee ball. Now, what about your coaches for softball and baseball? Are they all in place or are you still looking for guys there too? Um, I have uh, 11, 12, 11, 12 boys is the only one I currently do not have a coach for, but everything else has been filled. Uh, I got So far, I got a lot of good support. Um, you know, you talk about our facilities. We do have some top-notch facilities. Here in the next couple months, hopefully by uh, July 4th, I'm going to be able to use some of these grants that the, uh, the city of Vernon has received that has not been used. Uh, I'm here to make sure that we use that money because we've had it basically since 2015, and it's just been sitting there. So it's time to take action and make the facilities even better. When you say you need coaches, um, what is the process? If somebody's out there watching this right now and they say, you know, I've got a little experience, I've got kids, I've got skin in the game, I think I could step up. Do they have to fill out paperwork, do a background check, fingerprints and all that? What is that process? Yeah, uh, right now, you know, just contact me. Uh, my number's all over our recreational Facebook page, Vernon Recreational. Uh, page uh, the contact City Hall. They have to come fill out background paperwork, FDLA paperwork. They'll go over to the prison, uh, sorry, the, the the jailhouse over there on Orange Hill, do some fingerprint pack, uh, fingerprint work, and um, I, I give them a little interview, and make sure they're fit to do the job. Because I'm not I'm not going to do what's in the past. I'm not going to just let anybody go out there and uh, be a coach. I want to make sure it's the right choice. Would it be fair to say that maybe some of those instances were why you have the problems that you're trying to fight now? Absolutely. Absolutely. And everybody understands. Sometimes we bite off more than we can chew. Heck, we're people, we're adults, and uh, sometimes we say, you know, I played ball in high school. I'm, I'm capable of coaching. Well, that's not always the case. It takes a certain kind of person to be a coach. Right. I mean, I've played ball. I was three, uh, three-star uh, athlete through Ver uh, Vernon. Um, I've been there. I've been coaching now for about six years. And uh, I've just seen this, this program go down and down and down. The support, down, down, down. 
my thing is just get people involved. Family used to be so much involved here, and it's just, it's gone now. So I'm trying to recreate that. You say you're trying to recreate it. Obviously, you've got the entire support of your city council. You know, Joey Brock is the one, uh, and get, along with Gary Owens, they seem to be a couple of the most vocal. I know that you're all passionate, but uh, every meeting I've been here so far in the last few months, uh, every one of these guys has been has indicated to you that they have, uh, they're giving you their full support. Uh, not only that, they're putting their money where their mouth is. They're funding uh, what needs to be funded. You, having been doing the job unpaid for enough years, you come into the paid position, you already have the knowledge. Um, and now with a little bit of authority to back that up, I would imagine it's maybe a little bit easier this year or maybe a lot more work, but a little bit easier because now you're actually that official person. Right. Well, the money to me, I don't I don't even care about the money. That's it. It's for the kids. That's the most important thing. Get these kids involved. So like I said before, they're ready for the next level. Uh, Mr. Brock and Mr. Owens, you know, they're they're very vocal, like you say, um, and I appreciate that. Um, the one thing that's been happening in the past is it's been real nick and pick. You know, they want this happen, this happen, and I, I've told them, look, let me run it. Let me do the job I believe that needs to be done. Let me take responsibility if the program fails. Let it be my fault. Don't let it be city halls and the council members. Let it be my responsibility if it fails, which right now, from the registrations from last year, I mean, you're looking at, I'm already probably around 130, 140 kids compared to about 75, 85, 80-ish, you know, from last year. That's a success right off the get-go. And I just can't wait until what leads up into football, I'm gonna make football better, uh, gonna be starting basketball. So, you know, I have support from the city council about starting new programs and everything. If I'm sitting at home right now and I've got a couple, three kids that want to be involved in sports and I know they need to be spending more time outside instead of the in front of the PlayStation, where can people live and be, be able to participate in the Vernon Recreation Leagues? Well, it's that that's a tough one. So they've came out with some new rules this year for softball, for Dixie softball. You have to live with inside your boundaries. And is that the city limits? No, and that's just one thing is I'm also a uh, district one uh, representative for Dixie softball for this area. I cover Holmes County, Washington County, Jackson County, all the way, even, all the way even into Excambia. Um, all the way, I got all the way to the uh, Pensacola, over at the state line with a mobile. I cover that whole zone. There's not many Dixie ball, ball, player, um, ball teams over that way, but this year they've implemented that I have to make boundaries. So that's one thing I'm focusing on with Dixie softball is I got to make boundary lines. Um, and I'm unfortunately with the position I'm at, you know, I want Vernon to be successful. But on the other hand, I got to be more you know, logical that I have to make boundaries. Some people's going to hate me. Some people's going to love me. But it's from the national level of what I have to do. Um, for Dixie boys baseball, all that goes out the window. If you want to go play for Walsall, go play for Walsall. You want to come here to Vernon, we'll be more than happy to take you here in Vernon. Well, the short answer to that then is if you've got kids who want to get involved, if you want to get involved either as a coach or maybe as a mentor of some kind, give Brent a call. His number is on the screen right now. Uh, give him a call. Uh, check out Vernon Recreation, uh, all that is going to be happening in the following year. Now, baseball, softball, and, and uh, t-ball coming up right now. As you point out, um, you're looking at football. What other sports uh, are you going to be uh, conducting besides those? So after... Uh, so. We're, like you said, we're pretty much right in the full swing of, of a ball, baseball and softball and t-ball. We'll be moving into uh, football. Right after football, I'm starting a brand new program. Me and Timmy Gardner, he's had my back. Uh, he's been the head, head man about it. We're going to start basketball come uh, probably end of uh, beginning of November, end of November. We're going to start registrations, hitting basketball pretty hard. I've had a lot of support from the community. They said that's what Vernon needs is a basketball program. So we've listened to people what they want. It's going to happen. And obviously, just around the corner from where we stand right now, you've got a perfect facility uh, to, for basketball. Uh, you've also got some outdoor courts. Uh, so you've actually got all the tools. It sounds like uh, you're putting in the time. What's your biggest challenge right now, aside from trying to fill out those rosters so that you got enough kids? Getting the community involved, getting, them, getting the kids that's getting signed up. Um, you know, they say they want to play. Well, let's, let's show it. Let's come sign up, and we're going to have a successful program if, if everybody will come and sign up. What's the best thing about being a part of this program, Brent? I know that you've seen the smiles on the faces, knowing that those kids aren't spending time on the couch, that they're getting outside in the fresh air. But what's the best part for you personally? Just to see the, the faces on the kids, you know, get them out here and enjoy something, learn something new. You know, that's, that's the most important thing to get them out here. 
Is there anything that I may have failed to ask? Anything you want to add before we wrap this up? No, I think we pretty much covered it. You know, we're, uh, so far, uh, I've been here for about a month, two months now, and I think it's going up and up and up. And that's all it can do. We're here in Vernon, Florida today, right now with Brent Gibson, heading up the uh, Vernon Recreational Program, right now talking about baseball, softball, and t-ball. Again, if you're a parent, if, you're, uh, if you know some kids that are around, maybe spending too much time inside, need a little bit of uh, some uh, really uh, good recreation opportunities, get, uh, learn a little bit more about competition, uh, baseball, softball, and t-ball right now, as Brent points out, football season around the corner, and then we're talking about basketball. Something to like, something to get involved with all the time, right here in Vernon, Florida. You know, Vernon has some opportunities coming up. We've got a brand new four lane coming in. We're only 30 minutes from the new international airport to our south. World's most beautiful beaches and to our north, Dothan and points beyond. Lots of opportunities. Check us out right here in Vernon, Florida, and we'll be right back.